Hey y'all, thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayoka and I'm getting ready to bring you your general energy update. Now, I got to say my disclaimer for those of y'all in the back, okay? Make sure you flip the roles as you see fit. Everybody on a different timeline. So you get in where you fit in. If you don't fit, don't force it, okay? I am here to help you elevate. That's my goal. If you're feeling vibrationally low, step back for a minute breathe check in with your higher self see what that's about okay now but otherwise don't share it with us we don't we don't care all right it's like we do care but we ain't trying to be vibing on no low frequency because we trying to manifest some real shit around these parts okay now but definitely definitely check in with yourself okay because um i really really want to be able to see you guys grow that's why i do this every single day now otherwise I like to set my intentions before I get started, but you know what? Libra season is getting ready to leave us. All right, so happy birthday to my Libras. And we're coming into Scorpio season. So what I've been doing is um, for each season, I'm gonna be focusing on that sign every single day. Of course, on top of my Virgos, all right? But Scorpio, I will be reading for you every single day as soon as Scorpio season starts, okay? Um, and if you got if you got a Scorpio who's a lover of yours or a friend of yours and you want to just kind of like spy a little bit, you can tune in too, okay? But remember, sun, moon, rising, you can view the video as well. Now, let me set my intentions because I want this to be a real short read, but... Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guides. Help me with this collective general energy update. Speak to me. Show me what I need to see. And protect us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you. Close all doors of communication to any karmic energies or any, any energies that are not in alignment with the divine's will or the purpose of this reading. And so it is. Thank you. Show me what I need to see. What I need to see for my collective. What is that energy? What is my collective's energy? The hell of ages in the reverse position. Y'all, somebody needs to be doing some serious healing, y'all. I mean, this is on a deeper level. You need to get to the root of the issue. Now, this could be past energy for some of y'all, okay? So, because I'm getting ready to do a three-card spread. So, it's usually past, present, future. But let's see. Show me what I need to see here. I keep seeing this card. Heal of ages in the past. Present energy feels like the angel of love is out. So it's some type of tender connection that's being formed here um, behind the, in, the energetic realm. All right. So this is being brought together through what your spirit team. So what I'm saying here, this tender connection is divine love as well. So it's a lot of healing I'm seeing that needs to be done at a deeper level, or maybe you have been working on some healing, right? And and um, this is what's bringing this connection together. It's so many different dynamics that could go with this. So I'm gonna keep pulling just to see what it's about, and then you can find you can see where you fit in um, within the reading. But otherwise, this even could be about your own self love is what's coming to me. Okay, like you gotta heal because when it comes to you and your own self love, yeah. That has to be there, okay, for any and everything, for friendships, relationships, our situations, and um, what we attract. It just all involves how we feel about ourselves as well, okay? But let's see what's going on here. Show me what I need to see. <clears throat> Victory. Bam. Success. So, again, if this past energy, you may have a lot of stuff going on with you. And it could have something to do with self-acceptance, rejection, um, self-esteem, things of that nature, right? Uh, but what I'm seeing is like this tender connection here is being forged together with you and someone else that's in your life. Okay? But you're still being guided to direct this love. I keep hearing this stuff, love. I'm still hearing direct this love inward. Still continue to love on yourself here. That's how you're going to still gain this victory here when it comes to this connection with the victory card i'm still seeing success regardless right it's going to come out of this but overall don't forget to love on you don't lose yourself within this connection is what i'm hearing because you've been doing some work and some of you have been doing it on a deeper level some of you still kind of trying to figure it out right but we ain't we ain't throwing shots 
we just basically trying to help you, okay, to reach this success here. Tell me about this heel of ages in a reverse position. Tell me about the heel of ages in a reverse position here. All right, so what I got? Sun in the reverse. All right, so you may be blocked in your happiness for the most part. It definitely takes optimism, joy, happiness, all of that stuff, right, to manifest a new beginning for yourself. Okay, so I'm seeing here maybe past energy again for some of you. That's where it was. It's like you were blocked in your happiness when it came to you um, being able to create some type of firm foundation for yourself with the four of wands or something reliable. All right, relationship engagements weddings whatever that may be you you ain't been celebrating just put it that way okay ace of swords so this is what leaves you confused it's some type of confusion some type of clashing of perspectives or whatever it is it's like you need a breakthrough right you need a breakthrough you having it's so much tension arguments confusion about what it is that you want, what you desire for yourself, what you have been wishing and hoping for. And it could be it could be involving fire sign energy, queen of wands and the reverse. OK, so whether this is you or this is someone in your life coming in with this reverse energy, karmic energy, they could be very demanding, um, very selfish, create arguments. And it's, it's to the point is this It's like whatever these arguments or disputes are about. You know, it, there's no resolution, it feels like. It seems like either someone's fighting to be right. I, I feel like you may be at this point of throwing your hands up like, come on now, like, why me? This type of energy. Because when it comes to you reaching this, your wish your wish fulfillment, it's like somebody is not is unhappy um, and unhappy about you getting there and trying to stop you from doing that. Trying to stop you from moving forward here with whoever this may be that you're forming this tender connection with. Okay, show me what I need to see here. You have to release that situation here because again, it's going to, you have to see through the lies. Woo, that's just came to me. It's time to see through the lies. Show me what I need to see here. Tell me about this angel of love. What about this angel of love coming? Let me see something. I want these. Tell me about this angel of love card. So, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So, there's some type of energy like you got this opportunity, right? With someone. And you feel like you're getting ready to miss this opportunity. It's like, I got to do this now or I'm going to miss it. But the thing is, it's like in order for you to move on, right? And leave what no longer served you, whatever that trauma may be, whatever that toxic relationship may be, whatever whatever's familiar, you know, you may have to leave something, right? In order to do it. But the only way to do it is if you seven of swords energy it up all day, sneak away, okay? Lie or scheme or betray somebody. Some type of deception is what I'm hearing. All right, so remember, this ain't your energy. This is somebody in your life, okay? Somebody is doing this to get to you. Next up, Ten of Cups. It's like you got to sneak in order to have your wish fulfillment, that Nine of Cups. It's like you got to do, like in order to fulfill your all of your Ten Cups, you got to sneak away from something in order to do it. Whoever this uh, energy is coming in with this tender connection here, um, I'm hearing it's definitely divine love. And I'm hearing here that you got to love yourself. Love yourself enough to go after what really truly serves you or what makes you happy. Okay, because there's an imbalance. I'm definitely feeling an imbalance here um, when it comes to this. Wow. Show me more. So 
set a boundary with this person. Wow, Queen of Swords, upright position next to this Queen of Pentacles reverse. So with this Queen of Swords upright position, it's saying, look, y'all, you gotta be very direct, very clear in your um in your on your boundaries, very direct in your communication up front. Don't beat around a bush with this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Whoever this feminine energy is, this is someone here who's very selfish, very jealous, very self-absorbed energy. They could be in it for the money, in it for the wrong reasons. You may have a financial obligation towards them or something, but I'm hearing that you got to assert yourself and stay in your ground with this person. It, it could have a lot to do with your past that keeps you from feeling like you are powerless. And yes, that's what's coming to me when it comes to this person or this situation. You want victory? Go in your Queen of Swords energy or your King of Swords if you are a man and you don't want to be under that feminine energy, right? But overall, yes, please. Is this is what you're being guided to do, okay? Because, yeah, you shouldn't have to sneak away towards something that is uh, fulfilling to you, right? Or where your desires and your wishes and your happiness and all of that. Look, the devil, what I tell you, stand in your power, you got to release that. This is about your independence. You have to reclaim your power. Take control of your life. You fit in the let. Or this person, if it ain't you, it's fit in the let. This queen of pentacles control their life. Their happiness. What they're trying to manifest. Why is this person afraid to speak up? Why this person feel like they have to sneak away or be deceptive? Why are they afraid to speak up to this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Blocked in their intuition. They have some type of investment into that situation as too as well. So it could be children or some type of financial obligation. Okay, when it comes to their future plans, they feel like they're going to experience some type of hardship. Like I'm seeing cars flip, they're not coming out, so I can't show you, but I'm seeing them. And on top of these two that just came out. So when it comes to their future plans, they feel like they're going to experience some type of hardship. It may fail, right? So this is a lot of the reasons why they're not um, speaking up or saying anything as much, right? Because they've had a lot of failed plans in the past. They go to two of wands and upright. Five of Pentacles, even when it comes to the money, it feels like they're going to be in some type of financial hardship, some type of poverty, something. When, when the key is right there by the door, like, bam, all you got to do is look up, grab the key, put it in the hole, open the door and get the fuck out of there. Excuse my French. But otherwise, right, it takes for you to have to stand in your own power. What is this Queen of Pentacles hiding from this person, my collective or my collective person. What is this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse hiding? Hmm. Judgment. So what I'm seeing here is that they're aware. Mm -hmm. They know. They already know. You think that you're sneaking away or this person thinks they're sneaking away to come to you. But that Queen of Pentacles in reverse knows exactly what's happening. They already are judging this situation. They got some intuitive knowledge coming down too. Whatever that is, it's like their intuition. They already been doing the, They already been doing the evaluation, okay, of this whole situation, period. What is it that my collective can't see? The hangman in the reverse. Anything else besides that? The king of wands. So this knight of wands in reverse has gained some type of new perspective. And is ready to come out of that hangman energy. Is what I'm seeing. They've been stalling, of course. Knight of wands in the reverse. They have been stalling. But I do see it's a new perspective being gained um, from all of this. Okay? And about you. Because whatever, you know, whatever you two have with each other, this is something that is literally being forged together by the heavens. Okay. 
and you can't stop divine love. <laughs> uh -uh. No matter how reckless you try to be in your energy, no matter what, the feelings are always going to be there and very strong. And that other person, that queen of pentacles in reverse knows this. It's not, it's not hidden from them. They not, they not foolish right now. Thank you. Wow. Tell me about this victory card. Hold up. Release the anxiety. Pretty much nine of swords in the reverse. You got, you have to recover, or this person needs to release this anxiety. It's a lot of fear behind all of this. Okay, why three of pentacles? The fear is about, you know. The conflict it's just them wanting to avoid some type of conflict here but what i'm hearing is like they have to recover they have to heal right at a deeper on a deeper level so you may need to go deeper or this person may need to go deeper into that reason of why they are feeling this anxiety or this fear especially when it comes to making some choices here that is going to bring success into their life thank you this is almost like self-sabotaging energy tell me about the victory card those cards just fell all on the floor so what i'm gonna do is grab another deck y'all so one second soon as that situation ends then guess what within this new beginning brings success brings victory right so that ending has to take place it's like you won't be able to wave your flag and see this new beginning in that shit with that queen of pentacles in reverse and work on that with the queen of pentacles in the upright okay so wow and basically you know if you're not really familiar with tarot my reverse court cards are karmic energies upright would be the you know one operating in their divinity or their higher self but overall stop working with that queen of pentacles in the reverse don't focus on that situation of trying to uh, make it to be something abundant. It's, it's just, it has to end. Tell me more. Tell my collective more about this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. It's a burden. It's too much responsibility. It's too much on your plate. It's a one-sided situation. So you most likely may be carrying all of the weight of this connection here. If y'all got children together, you may be the one that's fully putting all of the energy into the child. Emotional, uh, um, emotional, spiritual, and what else I'm hearing? Financially, you know, if, it's, if there's no children involved, it just may be you doing everything. All right. And with this Knight of Swords energy, it's like you have to be determined Determine about this. This is about your goals. So yeah, rush in. <laughs> rush in and clear yourself of this energy and end it fast. Swiftly is what I'm seeing. Swiftly with the page of swords. <laughs> energy. Look at it. Look at Shorty. Like, oh yeah, I'm ready. To cut all of that shit off, right? It's third party situation going on because it's finally revealing itself. But you want to be with people who actually support and love you. Everything gonna be fine when you end it. <laughs> wow. It may seem like that situation gonna end badly for you, but everything gonna be fine. The cards just confirmed it. You'll be fine. They'll be fine. You don't have time to be an enabler. That's all I'm hearing. Don't be an enabler to people's bullshit. Especially if they're operating in karmic energy, especially if it's preventing you from being able to really live your life to the fullest, where you can be your most authentic self. It's requiring you to stand in your power. Um, yeah, stop relinquishing your power to these folk, man. And, and, and I say it like that because, and I know I seem very disappointed, y'all, because I am, to be honest with you. And 
a lot of people are doing this. A lot of people are relinquishing their own happiness for the sake of people who could care less about theirs. And I don't understand it. I do because I've been there before. But once you start to become fully aware and awake to you, yourself, and how powerful the universe is, you can't accept less than divine energy from anyone. Show me what I need to see for this energy. There's nothing to worry about. Look, everything is fine. There's nothing to worry about. You are safe and this situation is under perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Huh? The divine has stepped in. When this angel of love card comes out, this is divine love. The divine is already up in this. You don't have to fight against the laws of attraction or the, or the natural flow of the universe, right? Because universal order is in play. Only thing that you need to do is continue to infuse loving thoughts and emotions into your situation to ensure the highest possible outcome will follow, will flow effortlessly to and through you. So that's what your guidance is for today, this weekend, whenever you tune in. All right, y'all. So thank you once again for tuning in. I hope that does help y'all. I'll be very passionate about this because I hate to see my people um, under so much duress, stress, anxiety, fear. And all of it takes is just that simple push. And if you need help, Literally, ask your angelic team, ask the universe, like, help me to get, help me to get through this. Help me to do what I need to do here so that I can move forward. Give me the strength. Give me the faith. Give me the hope. Whatever it is, give me the courage, right? To be able to make tough honoring choices for myself, to stand up for myself, to stand in my integrity, to heal all of that, right? So that I can be better, so that I can continue to grow, so that I can reach the victory that I deserve. It's your birthright. All right, y'all, I'm going to go because <laughs> this is about to turn into a whole sermon around these parts. Okay, y'all enjoy y'all weekend. Peace. <laughs>